come down and manifest your power. Holy Spirit, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power.
What a wonder you are You are so gentle So pure and so kind You, you shine Like the bright morning star Jesus What a wonder you to shift from the resurrection power to the ascension. The resurrection power to the ascension. Remember, resurrection and ascension are two different things. When King Jesus rose from the dead, it was him recovering from becoming sin. When he ascended, it was him growing as perfect. Resurrection power is proof or is evidence rather of repentance. Ascension is evidence of righteousness. So the Lord went from repentance cycle because that's where he became sin. He showed you all the cycles that you go through. Sin Boom, death, boom, the wages for sin is death. He became sin, then he died. The wages for sin is death. He became sin and died. The wages for sin is death. So he showed you the cycle that you go from sin to death, separation from God. That's why he said on the cross, Father, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That was separation from God. So saints, what was so powerful is that King Jesus went into all those areas that you would walk through to recover your dominion as a woman, as a man. So he goes through that. When he raises up from the dead, when he rose from the dead, remember, what, what is he rising up from? He's rising up from not life. He's rising up from death. So he's rising up from separation from God. He's also rising up from the gates of hell because the Bible said in Revelation that he has the keys of uh, he has the keys uh, 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 of death and hell. You see that in Revelation? So that that proves that when he went through that process of rising from the dead, he was also rising from the gates of hell. So when you're in resurrection power, understand that you're rising up from the gates of hell. That means that you're recovering from deception. You're recovering from distraction. You're recovering from disobedience. You're recovering from demons. Ascension is where you're discovering. Resurrection power is where you're recovering. Ascension power is where you're discovering. See, you as a woman, as a man, you want to leave the resurrection power stage and step into the ascension stage. 
Remember what Psalm 24 says. Who can ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who can stand in his holy place? But he that has clean hands and a pure heart. So what is he talking about? Clean hands and a pure heart. He's dealing with. Now you're living the life of being saved. Born again. Free. Delivered. Attentive. You're a learner. Learning is the highest realm of repentance. If you take a note, write that down. That's a wisdom door. Learning is the highest realm of repentance. When you are learning, that is the activity of repentance. Learning is the activity of repentance. So King Jesus said, come learn of me. Come learn, learn, come. So, so that means that you have to make that decision. He not going to put it on you. Learn of me. He didn't say learn of what Christopher Columbus found the Mayflower or Floyd Mayweather. I think Floyd Mayweather, they didn't want to tell us. I think Floyd Mayweather was, was back then in the history books. He just came back on the scene again. They, they call him Christopher Columbus, the Mayweather. I think it was Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. That's why he got all that money. Okay, you're back there. Learning is the cleanest plate of place of the heart. Learning is the cleanest place of the heart. Your heart is in its most pure place when it is learning. Remember the Bible said, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. But why are they pure in heart? Because they are learning of God. They can see him because they're learning from him. You can see who prophet Joshua is because you're learning from me. You ever wondered why you can know who I am? Because you're learning from me. That's the power of learning. Learning unveils the scales on the eyes. Learning unveils the scales on the eyes. It's still learning. It's, a, it's still learning. It's still learning. So... King Jesus said, come and learn of me because learning is the highest realm of repentance. When you learn of Jesus, you move from just the resurrection power to the ascension power. King Jesus didn't just rise from the dead. The secondarily thing that he did secondarily was that he ascended. These were two different phases. When he ascended, it was not rising from the dead. When he ascended, it was him discovering the new levels of life. You say, well, this is God Almighty. Why he got to discover the new levels of life? Because he's the first fruits. He's the firstborn. God planted himself in a man to do the experiment through this man firstly. Now you are secondarily. Now you are sons. He paved the way. He did it. Saints, John the Baptist paved the way for Jesus. But King Jesus was the John the Baptist that paved the way for you. My God. I, I got to go. I got to go. This is this. I got to go. What? What? What, you want some hot sauce on your burrito, baby? You want some hot sauce? You like hot sauce on yours? You like hot sauce? I don't like hot sauce on mine. You like hot sauce on your burrito? You want hot sauce on your burrito? I don't want no hot sauce. I don't want, I don't want no hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Jesus was the John the Baptist paving the way for your spiritual inheritance. <laughs> Jesus was the John the Baptist paving the way for you to experience the realm of ascension. Ascension power. Resurrection power means that you, you fresh out of sin, you keep coming out of sin. But ascension power is where you're learning dominion. You're learning authority. You're learning 
virtue. You're learning freedom. You're learning boldness. You're learning righteousness. You're learning surrender. Hallelujah. 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 So it's different. It's different when we're dealing with the resurrection power from the ascension power. Because King Jesus rose from the dead. That was him coming out of sin. Showing you the process. When you repent, you come out of the death. And watch this. You come out of the gates of hell. That's why he took the keys. So, so imagine this. If Jesus took the keys, why are you still walking through door? I just heard the Holy Ghost speak to me. Boy, I'm about to lose my mind. You know what I just heard the Holy Ghost say? And says after this, we're going to shout. <laughs> after, the, after this, we're going to shout, boy. Oh, Jesus. After this, we're going to shout. I'm about to slap two of y'all. You done fell asleep. After this, we're about to shout. I'm about to slap out two of y'all. Y'all y'all just going to sit right there and act like you don't hear, hear what I'm talking about. You. I'm about to slap you. I'm about to slap you. I'm playing, man. I'm playing. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. This I, I got to stay drunk. I got to stay high so I can release this word tonight. I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing. Don't. I don't mean no harm, man. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just staying high and staying drunk so I can release this word the way it's supposed to be released. After this, we're gonna shout. After this, after this, I got one word. I got one word that God just gave me, and then, and then, uh, we go into third service. All right. Now, let me say this to you. Here's what God said to me. Here's what God said to me. I want you to catch this. Here's what God said to me. Now, this is going to be so powerful. Here's what God said to me. The Lord said this to me. He said, son. If we look at Jesus rising from the dead. He rises from death. All right. Separation from God. He goes to hell and he takes the keys. Now, saints, I'm about to say, son, that's going to deliver you for the rest of your life. And if you if you don't take this revelation and live off of it, when you go to hell, you're going to regret. Because God going to say, I said this to you. On that. Sunday night. Listen. If Jesus took the keys of death and of hell. And death is separation from God. Hell is the consequence when you're separated from God. If Jesus took the keys. That means that the door is locked. If you lose your keys right now, you can't get in your car, your house, nowhere that you formerly used to get into. So, so, so watch this here. This proves that Jesus switched the nature around. The way that it was hard for you to obey God, now he made it hard for you to sin. So if you sin, it's not because you had a key and walked through the door. It's because you broke the door open yourself. You broke into the kingdom of Satan unannounced. Set. I said, listen, I said Satan and Satan don't got a key. So if, if you fall into sin, it's because you break it in. Listen, 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 listen. Do you understand what I'm saying here? You understand what I'm saying? Let's, let's stick with the word of God. The Bible said that King Jesus took the keys. If the keys are snatched, that means that nobody can enter into the door unless they break in. If you go lock your apartment right now and somebody go inside of your apartment, they didn't go inside of your apartment with a key because you got your key. They got inside of your apartment because they broke in. They got inside your house because they broke in. So the fact that King Jesus took the keys 
Now you got to break into the kingdom of Satan to sin against God. So all your sins is not you being a slave to sin. All of your sin is connected to you just choosing to be foolish. That's why Proverbs say forsake foolishness and live. That, that's, that's why Proverbs say forsake foolishness and live. Because when you start living, that means you step into the realm of ascension. Going from faith to faith, glory to glory, because you're not a slave. The key has been snatched by Jesus. So how you end up in death? How you end up in separation from God? How you end up in sin? You had to break it. You didn't end up in sin because God ain't got no power on you. You ended up in sin because you breaking into sin. You broke into the doors of distraction. You pursued your own addiction. You created your own flaws. You perfect.